In this video, we create a custom and very fancy QR code in Inkscape. Inkscape is a free open source image editing platform. It's a wonderful bit of kit. So let's go and open this up. Okay, so here we have a standard template. Let's go to document properties and come on, make this square. So let's make it 1080 by 1080. The beautiful thing about vector graphics is that they can be blown up or shrunk down to any size without distorting the image quality. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a QR code for the British Heart Foundation. Partly because they're a great charity and partly because they've got a nice logo to work with. Let's just paste this domain into a QR code generator. I'm using my own here, but you can just Google QR code generator or there's linked in my blog for this one. I'm gonna copy that image and paste that into Inkscape. So at the moment this image isn't a vector, it's a paste bitmap. So we wanna go ahead and convert this to a vector. So we go to trace bitmap and should do Let's close this off so that's the vector and that's the original bitmap so we can delete this one this one we can pull over here and like i said because it's now a vector we can actually expand this and shrink it down as much as we want let's go and put that something like this okay so the first thing i want to do is make this look a little bit more pretty I'm going to change it to red and then I'm going to press hold down control shift and press L. That didn't work. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to hold down control and press L. What it's going to do is simplify it. And it's going to create this weird effect, which I really like. Some people might not, but it kind of distorts the edges. But if you don't, if you do it too much, it won't actually read in the QR code, but a little bit you can actually get away with. Next thing I'm going to do is take out a chunk of this. Now you don't need the whole QR code to work. So I'm going to block out a little section in the middle. And this is where my logo is going to go. So let's get a copy of the logo. Paste this in. Again, we're going to want to cut it out. So I'm going to be using auto trace here. Off. Okay, let's try it this way. There we go. So I'm going to create two of these because I'm going to separate the text from the logo. So I'm just going to draw over this one and then highlight them both together. Difference. The logo I'm going to put in here. This red circle, I'm just going to give this a border. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the red. They have a nice border. And this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut out the text. So stop that help. Let's get this little bit of white board around the edge. There we go. I'm just gonna tidy this up by cleaning up these squares. These squares are actually quite important for the scanner to recognize it, so I like to keep them fairly clean if possible. Let's make sure it's all the same color and we want to use the color. We want to use the exact color their brand is associated with. Change the outer circle back to white. And the last thing I'm going to do is just give it a border. So I want any fill on this. Now we can export this as a ping image and we can save it as an SVG as well for later work. So that's it. We've got this QR code that you can scan with your phone, but it's customized to be in line with the brand image. 
It's great for marketing. So once you scan it, it will lead the visitor off to the company website. If you're interested in online business performance marketing and web development, then subscribe to my channel and check out my blog at jamespacini.com. I've got an article there about QR codes and Inkscape and all different customizations you can do. Thank you for watching.